Hi everyone, thank you for sticking until the last part. For this one I'll be sharing tips on how I use this camera movement template with my artwork. You can follow along using your own artwork, though you might need to adjust things accordingly. So let's get started. To begin, we need to decide how many planes you want to separate your drawing into. The key is to separate the background, middle ground, and foreground, and then create even more separation. For example, the sky in the background and the clouds if you have them. From there, we will fill in or paint the extra areas so it won't have any empty area when the plane moves. You can be a bit loose if the drawing is organic like nature, but if it's an ar architectural object, you will need to be careful to keep the illusion when they move. I will purposely avoid something like railing as you will need to actually animate it because you can't key a perspective or skew transformation in Clip Studio Paint. In my case, I have this electric ball and this wire thingy, and this won't work if I put a separation in that area, so I intentionally put them on the background element. Even for the train car, I purposely cut on areas that don't have windows or at the end of the carriage, as it's more convenient. Your illustration will most likely have a different horizon than my template. To quickly fix this, we'll just need to create a new group on top of the template, enable the keyframe and move it to your drawing horizon before splitting your drawing. Once you have your drawing separated, you can just drop them into each of the folder. Be very careful with your timeline position because if you drop your layer on a different timeline position, it won't align properly as that timeline position will be the starting point of each of the layer. Just to be safe, each time you want to drop a new element or a plane, do it on the first frame or the last frame. Since I have a couple cuts on an object, I got this harsh transition when the objects move. To fix this, I simply use a mask by creating a selection around the transitioning area, then blurring them to create a smoother transition. Another tip to further improve this effect is by using the blur filter. To make the process easier, we can create an action that will repeat this blur in increments. Then you just need to apply the blur accordingly, starting on the plane around the focus plane, then increasing the amount as you go further. I prefer a shallow type of field, so I blur both ways. But if you like to keep it focused on one area, you can just blur the background or the foreground. Now if the template I provided is not exactly what you want, you can edit it by using keyframes. First, to reverse the dolly, you can simply switch the keyframe around by selecting all keyframe at the end and switching them with the one at the beginning. To create a slower dolly, you can just stretch the keyframe at the back or at the front. And for creating a faster and longer dolly, you can drag the keyframe closer, create another key at the end for the folder, and start adjusting each one by going to the graph, selecting the scale and moving the key until the line looks straight. Next to add a fast in and slow out, we're going to create a keyframe at 3 quarters along the duration and drag it to the midpoint. Then do it a couple more times until you get something like this. For a slow in and slow out, first we're going to add a keyframe to the midpoint. This will remain here. Then add another keyframe on the midpoint of the left side. Move them to the 3 quarter point. Then do the same with the right side. Then repeat it until you have something like this. 
that's about it for the tips on using the template if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below and i will try my best to answer them bye bye